here I have a prototype for a homemade vacuum thermoformer. Um, functional use for something like this would be to use a vacuum to form kydex for holster or sheath making. Um, the design isn't very complicated. We essentially have a box. Uh, sides are 2 by 4 um, Notice I have a hole cut here in the front with a 1 inch paddle bit. That's where our vacuum will connect. Um, I have just a piece of masonite uh, tempered service for the bottom um, and a piece of pegboard for the top. Uh, I use drywall screws to attach this. Uh, I used a countersink so I get those as flush as possible. And because we want to have the tightest possible vacuum seal, uh, I used tight bond, or you could use really any sealant between each of the pieces so that you can ensure that the vacuum is perfect as, as best as you can get it in any way. The width of the thermoformer is 11 inches. Reason for being for this is that Kydex for my supplier comes in 12 inch sheets and I want to be able to ensure that when I cut the sheet the Kydex makes a perfect seal around the outside. Um, and In the interest of making that seal I took a piece of um, small micro limb and I, I made a small guide that fits around the outside. So how this will work is I would cut my sheet of Kydex to fit exactly in between these two pieces of this guide and then I would use clips to make this into an assembly that I could pop right into the oven or heat all as one unit and then it will go over top of this and ensure that around the outside edges here the seal is maintained. Um, lots of people like to use a heat gun for this, that's fine, um, but the nice thing about having an assembly like this is that it becomes easy to pop it right in the oven. Okay, so I got my Kydex heated and I have the blades I want to make sheaths for on the pegboard. So I'm going to ensure that the guide is secure on the edges there. And then I'm going to get my suction. Now note you can actually move the objects while the Kydex is still soft. That gives you a chance to move things around where they need to be. And also to push out the extra air around the edges. The vacuum is strong, but even so the Kydex is thick. So it helps to work some of that out. You can also feel the temperature of the Kydex through my uh, wool served wool gloves here. And that'll tell you when it's okay to take the suction off. But while the Kydex is still warm, it helps to work some of that remaining air out of the edge of the blades. If, in fact, if you need to after this is done, I warmed this up in an oven, but you can easily take a heat gun and go back around the edges and work the rest of that air out but it does a very good job. Okay, and that's cool. So I can remove the suction. And you can see that the Kydex is perfectly formed of the blades.